The objective is to express metric length measurements in terms of a smaller unit. Go ahead and copy and complete this table and chart. We'll work on it together. So pause the video to write out the table and chart, and then replay it after you have it copied so that we can walk through this problem together. What we know is that one kilometer does equal 1,000 meter. And then so again, these are kilometers, and these are meters, and this is where we're measuring distance. If we know that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, then what does two kilometers equal? How many meters is it? Well, one of them is 1,000, and another of them was 1,000, so if we put that together, that would be 2,000 meters. In this case, if we had three kilometers, do you know how many meters it would be? Write it down onto your table and chart. Did you write 3,000? What would seven kilometers be? Seven kilometers is 7,000. Well, we have 70 here, which is 10 times as much as 70. What's 10 times as much as 7,000? We would have 70 thousands, or that's written as 70,000 meters. One to a thousand, two for two thousand meters, three kilometers equaling three thousand meters, seventy kilometers equaling seventy thousand meters, or a thousand times more. One kilometer is one thousand times as much as one meter. We're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit. That's why we have to have more of them. Here, we're asked to figure out one kilometer, 500 meters, equaling how many meters? What we do is we work to express that one kilometer, that portion that is not in meters, in meters. One kilometer equals how many meters again? Right, 1,000 meters. And when we put it together with the 500 meters, what we do is we'll add those together. And 1,000 meter and 500 meters equal to 1,500 meters. And let's write that in then. Can you copy and complete the next one? It's your turn. You try. Remember, first thing you're going to do is that you will figure out how many meters that that five kilometers is worth. And then don't forget about the 30 meters. Pause that video while you are figuring out this problem. Did you show your work? Five kilometers equals 5,000 meters. Putting it together with the 30 meters in this case, you end up getting 5,030 meters. And we'll write that in. So that 5 kilometers, 30 meters, equals 5,030 meters. So we're going from that larger unit to the smaller unit. And a kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Let's see what happens when we go from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So let's express 2,500 meters in kilometers, and if there is anything left over, then we would still have meters as well. Let's break it apart. We have 2,500 meters. Let's break it apart into by thousands. And the reason we're breaking it apart, apart by thousands is because we know that 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. Can I break that apart further? Can I take out another thousand? Yeah, I can. Another thousand meters, which also equals one kilometer. If I have broken that apart, 
with a thousand, two thousand at this point, what's left? Right, 500 meters. So I have one kilometer here, two kilometers with 500 meters, and I can write that right within my problem. So two kilometers, 500 meters, which does equal 2,500 meters. Okay, it's your turn. Copy the problem. Show your work as you're working through this problem. Pause that video. Did you start with 3,050 meters? And then you broke it apart into what? How many thousands were you able to take out there? 1,000 meters there, which also equals one kilometer. Another 1,000 meters, which equals 2 kilometers altogether. And even another 1,000 meters, which equals another kilometer. So that's 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, not quite to 3,050 yet. And then I also have then 50 meters. So you have 50 meters and how many kilometers? One two, three. Read the whole sentence with me. 3,050 meters equals three kilometers, 50 meters. If I was to try to convert this and to change this three kilometers and 50 meters into just meters, it should work very similarly back the other direction. Three kilometers into meters equals one, two, three thousand meters plus 50 meters does equal 3,050 meters. So this does make sense. Here's a few more problems. In this case, we're actually adding, we have five kilometers plus 2,500 meters. What we notice is that this is in kilometers, but this here is in meters. So one of the easiest things to do is that we can rename the kilometers to meters before we start to add. That way we'll have the same unit. Again, we're gonna take these kilometers here and we're gonna go ahead and rename them as meters. Five kilometers equals how many meters? Did you answer 5,000? We would have 5,000 meters plus 2,500 meters then. What we could do is we could write it up and down so we make sure to add it correctly. 7,500 meters. In some instances, they might ask me to rename this into kilometers and meters. How many kilometers is there here? Well, let's count. Remember that one kilometer does equal 1,000 meters, so that seven kilometers equals 7,000 meters. So I at least have seven kilometers, and then what am I left with? I'm left with 500. So five kilometers plus 2,500 meters is equal to seven kilometers, 500 meters. One of the big keys here is to remember to label your answer. So that's how it is that you can convert. And that's also showing you how it is that you can go ahead and add, even if there are mixed units that you are trying to add. In this case, there was kilometers here and there was meters here. One last little piece of information here. I'm gonna show you one meter equals 100 centimeters. If that's the case, two meters equals how many centimeters? Right, 200 centimeters. If we had five meters, how many centimeters would it equal? 500 centimeters. The thing to remember is that one meter does equal 100 centimeters. 50 meters? Well, that's 10 times more 
than the previous answer, so it would be 5,000 centimeters. A centimeter is 100 times smaller than a meter, or a meter is 100 times larger than a centimeter. So the relationship again, 1 meter equals 100 centimeters.